Hello guys, last time we disabled the two-factor authentication or authorization in order to skip the uh, admin decode every time we log in into the admin. So if I go to the admin, if I will go to admin, password, So the last time we disabled here, we disabled this module in order to be able to log in only with username and password in the admin. So if we don't use those modules, it is best to remove them completely from the code base and from the vendor rather than keeping them as disabled. Whenever you feel the need that is this module is needed you just bring them back to the to the code so what we what we are going to do is we are going to use the keyword replace here in the get composer documentation the keyword replace this one which will remove those packages that is we don't need. I will add this link to the uh, video description. Also, there is a good uh, blog that I found you can read through uh, and has a good uh, explanation how to use and why to use the replace uh, keyword. Anyway, so those will be included in the video description. So let's move on. So I'm now able to log in without uh, using the two-factor authorization. So instead of doing this, disable it from the config, I want to remove it completely from the vendor or from the Magento installation. The first thing is we go into the composer and then just scroll down just wherever you feel where you put the keyword. We use the keyword replace. And then we just add those modules we don't want. So if I go to vendor, Magento, Magento module two, Here, here it is, module to factor authentication or auth. So I go to the composer JSON and I copy the name of the module. And I just put the name here and then put a star. This star says whatever the version of this module, just remove it. We don't want it. So this will remove the module to factor auth. So I'll just go to the command line. I'll just run the composer update. Once I run composer update, it will remove it. Right, now the composer update is finished. This command is finished. So the what well, it does remove every packages that the module depends on and then lastly remove the package and then remove this package this package is updating has nothing to do with the removing those packages because it's just the way it is uh, magento when it run it just updates uh, some packages while you remove or require other packages anyway so this will remove it this will remove it and then you don't need to disable it anyway you are once you run setup upgrade this will disappear because it's not there the the module is not there in addition to this module i have two modules i need to remove the yotbo 
uh, lead.digital. So just to give an extra example how to replace or how to remove a module. So if I go to, I think in the last, yeah. So this is your 12. Just go to the name, copy, and then put the name. And for everything, now I have the dot digital as well. Dot mailer, dot digital extension, composer, copy the name, customize composer. Oops. And then there's another module dot mailer, which is the extension chat. We don't want as well. Just copy and now I'll just run the composer update again to remove those. Now the composer finished, so it removes the dot mailer modules and then remove the your tool. Now I'm going to run PHP setup upgrade, PHP admin, gentle setup upgrade. Okay, now we should be able to see that it's if I refresh. I should be able to see those Yotbo and dot digital has gone from this configuration, which means those are removed. And here you go. So those are removed. Basically, the only thing you need to do is just add this, replace, and then put whatever module you want. And then, in fact, whatever package you want, not just the module, it does, it's not specifically, this is not specific to the modules, it's, it's any package. Since a module is a package, then it will remove it. And then just add whatever version is, which is a star. I think this is covers the video, and I'll see you next time.